Court TV follows an elite team of investigators as they uncover the unseen. We try to rule out natural as opposed to supernatural. Their cases will shock you. She continued to antagonize the ghost. Hit her like that. What they find will amaze you. It is fluctuating wildly. And it's all real. That was really creepy. An entire hour guaranteed to freak you out. The technical term is a poltergeist. Phenomena Police. Halloween night, 11 p.m. on Court TV. Coming up on Phenomena Police. You know, Galveston was allegedly the most haunted city in America. Some of my guests have experienced a spirit lady walking past here. Officer Henderson and Sergeant Rasky are getting a lot of activity. 6058 is fluctuating wildly. Did you see that? What was that? I don't know. Back in the early 80s, I was assigned to the Traffic and Accident Division of the Houston Police Department. My partner and I would routinely see just the most horrific accidents that, that a person really shouldn't see. So after one particular accident, my partner asked me, what do you think happens to you when you die? And we kind of made an agreement with each other that if one of us were to pass away before the other, if there was some way that we can let the other person know that there is something beyond our existence, then we would. And shortly after that, he was killed. Things started happening to me immediately that I didn't really understand. You know, my daughter was born on his birthday. We started having a lot of electrical occurrences in, in the house that I lived in. Just a tremendous amount of unusual events. So we started calling in other officers and we began using audio and video equipment to document the occurrences that were happening. Garcia, meeting in five. Yes, sir. We decided to come together as a unit and investigate and assist other people with the things that were happening to them. And would you be willing to submit to a polygraph? We call this unit the Phenomena Police. Hi, folks, settle in. Let's talk about this. We've got a really good case. It's called Grace Manor. It's an old mansion down in Galveston. Now, right now, they're operating it as a bed and breakfast. But the lady who lives there and runs the place has been experiencing some things that she can't account for in almost every level of the mansion. She's got one room in particular where uh, the guests at the bed and breakfast report seeing an apparition. She's kind of nervous. She's afraid that people are going to think that she's crazy. So I'd like you to handle her with kid gloves. So why don't we get uh, Henderson and Barrett. You guys go down there for the prelim, check it out, and see if you think it's going to be worth sending out a full team. Once we get a case from Lieutenant Zamora, we'd like to follow up with a preliminary investigation. Usually that consists of assigning two officers to go out, actually walk through the physical location, and uh, they make some judgment calls about what kinds of follow-up tests we should do. We don't want to waste the full team's time investigating a spot where there's obviously no credibility to the claims. Hi, Bart. Hi, yes. Hello, I'm Officer Henderson. And I'm Sergeant Barrett. We understand that there have been some incidents here and that you wanted to talk to someone. Mm -hmm. My dog started barking at a certain area in the room, which was right over here in this corner. Almost all this is in, in fact, everything that I can think of was in total darkness of night. This is the room through here um, where some of my guests have experienced uh, a lady, a spirit lady, walking past here. Walking um, past? Walking here while they were in bed. How many guests have reported this to you? Probably around 10 or so. 10 or so? That's quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I had a psychic here in Galveston come to get a feel and see if she experienced anything. And she came down here to the basement and said that she felt a lot of activity down here. Um, the psychic was drawn to this room, which was the original servants' quarters. Really? And she had a whole conversation with the spirit in this doorway. Did you hear that conversation? Uh, I did. I heard her side of the conversation. Well, that's fine. Yeah, what, yeah. what kind of questions she, uh, was she asking? She, she said she felt a very sad presence, and she asked him why he was so sad. He? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. 
and he said that he was waiting for his sweetheart and she asked him if he was so sad why did he stay here and he said he liked it here right well uh, do you mind if we have a few moments to have oh, a look around help yourself thank you mm -hmm. we need to make a few decisions here we would like for you to meet and see one of our uh, psychologists okay Although Ms. Gatlin seemed convincing, our protocol demands a more thorough examination of her credibility. Sure. It's, it's standard. We have procedures that we have to go through. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I guess we'll be in touch then. Okay, great. All right. Well, right now I'm on my way to Joyce Calvert's house. Joyce is a local real estate agent who specializes in Victorian homes on the east end of Galveston. And we're hoping that she can give us a little bit more information about Grace Manor. How are you? Welcome to Galveston. You know that Galveston was allegedly the most haunted city in America. I didn't know that. I didn't either until after I'd already moved in. Galveston suffered a number of setbacks, epidemics, fires, and of course the great hurricane of 1900. And in 1900, over 6,000 people perished. And most were on this end of the island. So they decided to start fires, funeral fires, and they would burn bodies, but it started to take way too long. So they decided to load bodies, five, six, seven hundred at a time, onto barges and take them out to sea. And they went about 16 miles out and dumped thousands of bodies into the sea. Unfortunately, there was a storm and it washed them all back. So they had to begin the process all over again and they think that perhaps maybe that's why so many of them are restless souls because they they were taken away from their home to be buried so we're just going to go down to the corner down here okay i guess we're coming up on grace manor yes it's the house here on the left so what do you know about grace manor i've heard several stories about grace manor but the most disturbing is that apparently at one time the gentleman that owned the house Mm -hmm. locked his wife up in one of the upstairs bedrooms really? for months and months and months as punishment really? because he found that she was having an affair with one of the servants mm -hmm. and so apparently she perished and it's said that she haunts the house today Hey, how you doing? Leslie Henderson, Steve's Phenomenon wife. Police. Hey, glad you could come out. Tell you what, we're going to go ahead and get started. Got a lot of activity going on around okay. here. As part of our preliminary investigation, we try to rule out natural as opposed to supernatural causes. In the case of Grace Manor, we wanted to see if the dog's incessant barking was caused by rodents or other pets. That's why we call it the exterminator. You might want to come under the stairs here and let me show you something. We do have a little possum. Possum, huh? Yep, they're pretty common around here. Yeah, okay. You can see where he's dragging his tail when, he, when he's That's sleeping. a possum? That's a possum, and you can see his little footprints. Okay, possum. So, what'd they find? Uh, Steve, the exterminator, he did find a possum. So, that's what the dog was barking at? Yeah, what'd you find? Well, I have uh, Barb upstairs with Dr. Letty right now, so okay. we're waiting to find out uh, the outcome of that. All right. Let me ask you some questions about uh, your emotional function, psychological okay. functioning. Um, ever had any experiences with drug or alcohol abuse? No. Anybody in your family? No. Okay. Have you ever been treated for any psychological conditions? No. Any severe headaches? No. It probably comes as no surprise that a large number of people who claim to see ghosts are later determined to have psychological problems. And it's our responsibility to determine that these people are of sound mind. Do you believe in paranormal experiences in which you're... Well, I, yeah, I do. I mean, when these things started happening, and, and I've never had any experience with, with this type of paranormal, so okay. it's not that something... that was a question I was yeah. going to ask you. So it's not okay. something that Just I know your, anything about. Okay. Would you say it, it was an area of interest, a topic of, of particular interest? No, definitely not. Okay. But I have a lot of guests who come through this house and stay here, and they tell me things. Hey, thanks for coming. What's the deal? Everything went well. She's a credible witness, in my opinion. Enough to warrant so, an investigation? I think so. Come on and make it quick. Sure. Well, went and interviewed Miss Gatlin. She passed our uh, psych test and uh, everything we threw at her. She's uh, She seems to be very credible. 
I even interviewed a local real estate agent. She's like an unofficial expert on the whole history of Galveston. And she even told us some stories that Bob didn't cover. And a lot of the stories are consistent with some of the things that are going on at Grace Manor. So. Okay. What do you think? So? Yeah, I agree. I think I'm going to recommend a full team tack up on it. The full team tactical operation is usually a nighttime investigation at the scene utilizing all the resources of the team. We'll move systematically through the location room by room and collect evidence. I just came from the basement and Officer Henderson and Sergeant Rescue are getting a lot of activity. 6058 is fluctuating wildly. My dad and I have been in the septic business for over 40 years. A septic system today can cost many, many thousands of dollars to replace. Ridex uses bacteria and enzymes to help prevent septic backups. I've always recommended Ridex, and I've never recommended anything else. Go see mommy. Hi, sweetie. Oh, what's this? Dinner for me? Oh. Bring your busy family to the table with new Country Crock deluxe side dishes, like scalloped potatoes, sliced russet potatoes in a creamy cheese sauce. Mmm, you two make me feel so special. Yes, teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> new Shed's Country Crock deluxe side dishes, ready in just five minutes in your grocer's meter deli section. Before you know it, your carpet can look dirty. See the difference? But it's not a problem because Resolve High Traffic Foam effectively cleans large carpet areas. Just spray it on, rub in gently, and vacuum away. The results speak for themselves. Trust Resolve. Scented candles make your home inviting, but they don't disperse scent quickly through the entire room. Glade scented oil candles quickly fill the whole room with fragrance. Just light it and the unique warming plate melts the candle into a pool of scented oil that quickly releases fragrance into the air, creating a warm, relaxing atmosphere. And when the oil is gone, the candle goes out. Glade scented oil candles quickly fill the whole room with fragrance. Essie Johnson, a family company. Don't forget to rinse those dishes first. That'll take forever. You don't need to rinse first with Electrosol 3-in-1 tabs. The blue layer lifts stuck on food, the white cleans tough stains, and the Jet Dry Power Ball makes your dishes shine for 100% clean dishes. Ooh, sparkly. Electrosol Power Ball tabs. Also try 2-in-1 Electrosol Gel Packs, the only pack with 100% fast-dissolving gel, plus Jet Dry Rinse Agent action for sparkling clean dishes. Brace yourself for the most criminal, most arresting, most out of control video on television. It's most shocking. The all new series from Court TV. The most shocking footage ever captured on tape. Most shocking premieres tonight at 8. Only on Court TV. Seriously entertaining. This is a thermal imaging camera. Got the uh, tag site thermal imaging camera to record heat signatures. Digital camera shift for Bruce. Right. Yeah, go ahead and check those. We've got the EMF reader Thank here, you. Leslie. Yes, Thank for you. you. Thank you. I'm using the electromagnetic field meter. What we're looking for is maybe some fluctuating energy masses that don't have a physical source. So as the numbers are spiking, he's going to start taking pictures. Hopefully, if there's any energy mass and no physical source there, we might get it on camera. Let's get to work. Yeah, All right. Let's see what we got. The guest appeared to have uh, seen the apparition of the lady. Okay. Okay, we should be good to go with this switch right here. Okay, here we go. 
tax site. Is that recording now? It's recording. Yes, it's, it's recording. Let's move this back a second and see if we can get more of the room. Let me set this right here for you. There we go. Okay. All right, let's see what you got. Did you see that? What was that? I don't know. Did you just move that or, or, or what? No. And it's still. Did it hit shoot down there, don't we? We just we just got something on there. It, what does that look like to you? It looks like a head. It's fascinating. That's almost a silhouette. That's what it looks like. That doesn't make sense. That's absolutely fascinating. I want to walk over there and see where it's at. Tell me, tell me if I'm nearby. Is it still yes. there? It's still there? No, no, it's gone. But you still have the camera pointed in the same direction? Right. Nothing's changed? Everything was the same? It was there and then it's gone? Right. And do you see my hand? I see your hand. We were actually up pointing up more towards the ceiling. It's pretty high up. It was pretty high up, right. It's gone as quickly as it can. They actually recorded some kind of shadow figure with a thermal imaging camera. It was, it was really creepy. I've been on countless uh, investigations, and I've never personally witnessed anything on, uh, on any of these until uh, this one. And I haven't quite figured out or have been able to explain away uh, this event. You could see the clear outline of a head and shoulders and, and like a body, shape of a person there. Um, it's pretty, pretty weird. But I'm gonna go downstairs and check on the Henderson and the Brasky. Four, three, six, this fluctuating. 4-1, 5-6, 4-7, 2-6, 1-4, 1.5, 2-6, 2.5, 3.2, 3.7, 6-3. 6058 is fluctuating wildly. 3.6, 3.5, 4.6, 7.0. Oh, I had a 10. This is the room that she said she felt like she might have a presence. I mean, the numbers were going crazy. And normally we don't get fluctuations like that. I just came from the basement and Officer Henderson and Sergeant Rasky are getting a lot of activity. 1.7. Leslie Henderson is using the EMF reader and it's fluctuating rapidly. Uh, Sergeant Rasky's taking digital photos and he's getting a high number of orbs. They're in one photo, the next photo they're gone, so we don't really know yet. We're going to have to take it back and analyze it. There's a very faint heat signature. I'm not sure what that is. I've never seen that before. Disappears without a trace. We didn't come up with anything. Where is she? I see horses, the color blue, blue. Why did she vanish? Two men, two men, the past, the past and the, the present. present. We got a call from a gentleman in Roxbury. I can see him. Who knows the truth? Underneath the bed was a shoebox. I have to get out of here. How are you going to prove that someone is dead? That all new psychic detectives tonight at 10, only on Court TV. Thursday. I need a lawyer. Tommy Lee Jones. We need this child. Susan Sarandon. Why should he talk if we can't protect him? The Client. The Court TV Most Wanted Movie. Thursday at 8. Court TV. Seriously entertaining. I'm one of those people who doesn't like to be, be held back. I have my fast acting inhalers. So I thought I was in control of my asthma, but I was using my inhaler a lot. So I learned about something more I could do. The more I could do. The more I could do. If you use your fast-acting inhaler more than twice a week for symptoms, talk to your doctor because you may not be in control of your asthma. Singular helps prevent asthma symptoms before they start and helps provide 24-hour control in a once-a-day tablet. Singular is not a steroid, and Singular is also approved to help relieve indoor and outdoor allergy symptoms. Singular will not replace fast-acting inhalers for sudden symptoms. Continue taking your other asthma medicines as prescribed. If asthma symptoms get worse, contact your doctor at once. Side effects are generally mild and vary by age and may include headache, ear infection, sore throat, and upper respiratory infection. Join the millions of people with asthma who have discovered Singulair. I learned about something more I could do. Ask your doctor about Singulair today. 
make sure my patient's mouths are at their healthiest, I usually check all these areas. Ordinary toothpastes only protect some of them. Now, for the first time, there's a toothpaste, Crest Pro Health, that protects them all. New Crest Pro Health. As an editor-in-chief and a new mom, I'm in the shape of my life. By adding SlimQuick to my diet and exercise plan, I lost 35 pounds. SlimQuick, the number one selling female fat burner. Available at GNC and other fine retailers. In the human body, the heart pumps blood through thousands of miles of arteries every minute. Inventor of the Jarvik artificial heart, Dr. Robert Jarvik. But high cholesterol can clog arteries and lead to heart disease or a stroke. Adding Lipitor is proven to lower bad cholesterol an impressive 39 to 60 percent when diet and exercise are not enough. And today, clinical evidence proves that Lipitor can reduce both your risk of heart attack and your risk of stroke if you have several common risk factors for heart disease. All important reasons to ask your doctor about Lipitor. Lipitor is not for everyone, including people with liver problems and women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant. You need simple blood tests to check for liver problems. Tell your doctor if you're taking other medications or if you have any muscle pain or weakness. They may be a sign of a rare but serious side effect. Lipitor is one of many treatment options to consider with your doctor. Could you be doing more with Lipitor? Ask your doctor. I'm on my way to Isabel McCrimmon's house. She's our resident photo expert. She's had some time to look at the Grace Manor photos, and we're going to see if she's found anything unusual in those photographs. So, Isabel, can you give me the rundown on the Grace Manor investigation photos? Now, here you have something that is really interesting. Mm -hmm. I would say this is dust. You're in a location that is in a basement. And um, another thing that I can tell, this makes it a camera phenomenon is you can see something called the chromatic aberration around them. You can even see the center of these things, right? There's the piece right there, you can see it. So I'm gonna say these are definitely dust. Now, there is this other photo right here in this storage room. This is the one that I think is really interesting. The obvious thing, which is the thing I can't account for, is right here, it's this orb right here. Oh, and you see how when we were looking at the dust, the, it was very defined, it was a really hard edge all around, and this one is blurry. That's not dust. That was the uh, basement, that's where the psychic was actually brought in and actually said that there was possibly something down there. Hey, Neil. Hey. Hey, how, how are, are you doing? Doing? How's it going? Oh, great, great. I'm excited to see what you came up with on Grace Manor. Well, I've been going through it, and okay. there's a there's a, uh, a little section that I'd like to play for you because I found it quite interesting. Yeah. There's clearly a person here. Yeah, you that, can see that's a very, Harry. Yeah. So that's what a person, yeah, that's person, what a person looks, looks like. like. Very strong. He's like, you can even count his fingers there. Right. When we go back to this area here and just play it, you can see. The As pan. we're a pan, and there's a, like a wall, they're going mm -hmm. past a the wall there. Mm -hmm. And you get into this very yeah. dense area. It's like the figure of a person, the, the outline or right. something. Right, there's a very faint heat signature, and as you, it's, it's clearly different than yeah. what you know the people look like. On the other things, you can see what the source is. What perplexes me is I can't figure out what is the source of this heat signature here. I mean, so what I did is I took it and mm -hmm. I, I kind of enhanced it a bit you know it, it's even more clear it's not like a flash or anything no, it just kind of no, just it, stays yeah, there it stays there maybe it was you, watching us watch it <laughs> okay so in your professional opinion i'm not sure what that is i've never seen that before okay well i tell you what can we get this on disc absolutely sure. all right we found a distinct head chin shoulders of a figure that stayed there for just a few seconds and then it was gone. Hey guys, thanks for coming. Are we in trouble? No, you're not in trouble. I just uh, want to set some ground rules. Like, like what? Well, remember last week when you hit Vinny in the head with the shovel? <laughs> I do not recall that. <laughs> of course not. Well, it was pretty graphic. Too graphic for the kids. <laughs> so I'm going to have to block you. I, you know, I gotta make this up to you. This is Vinny's watch, and I want you to have it. You deserve no, it. Thank you. That's really not necessary. No, no. Come here. With all the skin creams out there,
here, it takes an expert to choose. My expert choice, Total Effects. Fight seven signs of aging with the number one beauty editor recommended anti-aging cream, Olay Total Effects. A dandruff shampoo feeling this good? Head and Shoulders Ocean Lift. It gives you a healthy scalp and hair that's revitalized with an invigorating scent that's quite unexpected. Head and Shoulders Ocean Lift. Surprise yourself. From this day forward, the face of anti-aging skincare will forever be redefined. Introducing Olay Divinity. Redefining anti-aging to transform the look of discolorations, brown spots, and wrinkles with a glucosamine complex. For highly defined skin in just eight weeks. Now, see your skin in a whole new light. New Divinity by Olay. Definitely love the skin you're in. I'm ready to fight my cancer. I'm ready to begin chemotherapy. I really am ready because I'm going to take Nulasta right from the start to help protect me from infection. Chemotherapy can reduce your white blood cell count and increase your risk of infection, which could put your treatment on hold. But Nulasta is a white blood cell booster that can help restore your white blood cell count to reduce your risk of infection. And with a sufficient white blood cell count, your doctor may have a better chance of giving you your chemo on schedule, which doctors agree is the first step to success. Nulasta is for most cancer patients receiving strong chemotherapy. In rare cases, splenic rupture or serious allergic reactions have been reported. Report abdominal or shoulder pain or any allergic reaction to your doctor immediately. The most common side effect of this injection is mild to moderate bone pain. I'm ready to start. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready. Thanks to Nulasta. Ask your doctor about Nulasta and how you can be ready for chemotherapy. How are you doing? Good Fine. Good you. to see you again. Hello, Gracie. Hi. Well, Barb, I have the results, and uh, I'd like to have a moment to speak Great. with you about them. You want to have a seat? Absolutely. Okay. Boy, she's eager. She wants to see the results. Okay. Well, first, Barb, what we didn't find is any activity downstairs in the sitting room mm -hmm. or in the upstairs bedroom. So she's she's not necessarily a ghost dog. What are you seeing? <laughs> However, what we did find in the vanilla orchid room, when we turned on our thermal imaging, the officers did pick up a shadow figure person. Look at this. We found a distinct head, chin, shoulders, upper portion of a figure, uh, and it stayed there for just a few seconds, and then it was gone. Mm -hmm. And it was by the in-bed post area where your guests reported seeing right. someone there. So that is there. And also downstairs, what we found might be pretty interesting. You see that photo that's yes. taken right there? Well, when we took this to our photography expert, Isabel, mm -hmm. Isabel was easily able to write this off as dust. Oh. Well, Barb, now that we know what dust looks like, right. let's see what isn't dust. As you see, there is no distinct center. There's no halo effect. It's very mm -hmm. sharp on this side mm -hmm. here. In fact, these are the ones that they've often been reported that they're in motion. This was in the area where the psychic had had a conversation with one of the yeah. orbs. Yeah, and our, our photo expert, when she saw that, she was taken aback. She really? couldn't explain that one shot. So, uh, that's uh, what our findings are. And just to let you know, no, you're not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and there is definitely, definitely some paranormal activity going on. I feel relieved that you guys have confirmed it. Thank Thanks you so much. You. I appreciate your bye help. Bye-bye. Bye, Gracie. <laughs> There are at least two spirits in this house. The spirits have always had a very sweet, calming effect. I've never had any fear or felt threatened. And now that I have solid evidence that there are ghosts, if you will, or spirits here in the house, I'm happy about that. And I feel that we'll all just continue living one big happy family.
phenomena police. Supposedly, the ghost, she was raped and murdered in this alley. So I was going to the restroom, and I hear this. To me, it's easy to believe. It's haunted. Well, this is supposed to be where the murder happened. Take a look at that. What is it? Folks, we've got two cases to talk about today, so I'm going to get right to them. First one is a bar in Houston called the Slancha Pub. The general manager of this club has got a lot of different sounds happening, but she's got a pretty spectacular allegation. She says that a Tangare bottle flew from the shelf and struck a bartender who at the time was supposed to be taunting one of these ghosts. Bedner, I'd like for you to go out there and check it out and take uh, our rookie, Officer Clark, with you. Sure. Oh, well. Okay. Second case, the Cot Mansion down in the east end of Galveston. Now, the owner is a doctor. She believes that there's a friendly spirit living there, and she says that this spirit may have saved her godson from being killed in an elevator accident. Barrett and Garcia, you guys have this one. Go down there, get a prelim for us. All right, let's go to work. So how long have you been on the job? About three years. Three years? I've been a cop since 1978. So what's the most bizarre case that you've had? I had a lady cut her throat right in front of me. With a little razor knife, she went and she cut right across her, hell, her throat, speaking in some weird tongue, and I felt she was possessed. It was strange, something I really never thought I, I would believe until I saw it. When we do this investigation now, we're just gonna have to really go into a lot of detail and see whether it's alcohol related or if something actually is going on. But it's important we really do a good job because we don't wanna bring the whole team out here. It's just tall tales from people drinking. Hi, Miss Keller? Yes, hi. You made a call in reference to phenomenal activity that's been going on at the bar, so that's why we're here. Yes. When did you start hearing or this behavior? It was actually the very first night I ever worked here. Was it a story that somebody told you? Supposedly, the ghost, she was raped and murdered in this alley. But what I witnessed was in the bathroom myself. So I was going to the restroom. I went into this stall right here, and I hear this. Like that. So I immediately opened the door and there was nobody in here and that door was completely closed. I went and banged on the office door and I was like, what's wrong with you? You know, what are you doing? And he was like, what are you talking about? He is, who is Oh, he? this is Denver. This is one of my friends. The, the guy. Bartender? He bartender? He was a bartender here, yes. Were you drinking? If anything, maybe a shot with the customer or something. Feeling intoxicated? No, not at all. What month was it? Yeah, it was, it was actually Halloween. It is feasible that he could have been jacking with her. He could have been giving her a hard time. Her first night here, I think, is a big issue. Why don't we find out about the Tangare bottle? So, Lisa, is this the Tangare bottle that you were talking about? Yes. Lisa Marie, she was like, I would say, right here. And she doesn't believe in ghosts, so she continued to antagonize the ghost and say things to her, trying to bring her out, I guess. And I saw it hit her like that. That high? Yes. Straight in the middle of that. So, Celise, why do you think there's so much activity here? Apparently, it used to be some kind of whorehouse or something. Uh, there was a fire here, and it was explained to us that the rock thing in the back was a, some kind of portal. So this, this is, a, this this is, is supposedly a portal. Uh, many people have had and seen shadows that pass through this area. Well, do you want to go upstairs and...? Yeah, we'd like to go over a few things. During preliminary investigations, we always look for natural causes. Officer Clark and I inspected the area for any obvious clues. Then we decided to give Solis a polygraph to confirm her credibility. What do we know about this case anyway? Did you take your, did you get your notes? The lieutenant said in that pre-interview that she felt like there was some kind of a divine spirit of some sort that watched out after them. And you know what? You sound like a skeptic. Like, you really don't believe any of this. Well, I've been here 20 years. I've seen some strange things that I myself haven't been able to explain. However, I don't see it. Well, John, let me say this. I've uh, witnessed several events that, you know, really aroused my curiosity in the paranormal. Actually, in my home, which was built in the 1800s, back in the day when there was still slavery, when these people would die, they would just bury them. Really? Around the house, yeah. And like I said, I'd hear noises, a scratching in the walls, witnessed 
levitating, transparent silhouettes. Dr. Cott? Yes? I'm Sergeant John Barrett, and this is Officer. Officer Garcia. Good to meet you, ma'am. Why don't you tell us what you have? We think we've got a presence here, a friendly presence. I was right here. I was startled by something and woke up and saw a, a woman in white standing right, right here. Do you recall recognizing the face? Did she look I, like anyone that I you... I couldn't see the face, but it was definitely a woman and she was in a white dress. What was the second location? We had a very uh, bad elevator accident. My nephew almost died. He stopped it when it was about down to his knees, and then he decided to swing in, kind of like Tarzan. But when he did, his little finger hit the latch, so the elevator continued to go down. So he was caught across his temporomandibular joints in a space that's only about that big. My daughters were holding him up to keep him from twisting and breaking his neck. My husband thought he's dead, so he ran down, called 911. At the same time, my sister uh, Hannah-Law and I were trying to pull up the elevator enough so my sister-in-law, who's a nurse, could give mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. The thing is that everybody did something as though we had practiced. It was like we were being directed, and in came the firemen. Uh, they had just gotten uh, jaws of life on the trucks, all the trucks uh, a week before. Like an act of divine intervention? I think so. I really think so. We noticed when we walked up that you have some scaffolding. Well, as you can see, we have a lot of this structural work going on right now. Is this a safe area? Well, if one person gets in there, you can. <laughs> It appears that you have some foundation problems because all of the brick is settling or falling away. There is a lot of debris. In the cop mansion, throughout the house, there's dust, debris. Dust would actually compromise the integrity of our photos and our investigation. Officer Clark. Hey, Sarge. How's the research on slot check going? It's going pretty good. The first thing I tried to research was back in the 1800s, there was supposed to be a brothel. In the same building? Correct. The manager had told us about a rape and murder that occurred. She thought it was a prostitute, but I couldn't find anything about that. Maybe it was because it was a prostitute, and sometimes those things don't get reported. Okay. What I did find is, in 1912, there was a fire that ravaged the street that Salancha Bar is on. One fireman died. The interesting part of it is that the fireman actually foresaw his own death before it happened happen. He got this premonition that if there was ever a fire in that particular building that he would die. And, and so, he actually did. Yeah, he die. actually did die. Wow. Now during the examination, it's very important that there's no movements whatsoever. Just want you to relax. I want you to just let your body go limp. Okay? <sighs> so very good. Do you live in Houston? Yes. Is your first name Solis? Yes. You can't move any part of your head. That's why I want you to put your head straight back. Okay. Regarding the incident at Salancha, do you intend to answer all questions truthfully about that? Yes. Are you fabricating any part of the incident while in the bathroom at Salancha? No. Are you lying to me about seeing that bottle of Tanqueray hit Lisa Marie in the back? No. Don't move. Do not move. All right, Mike, here's where we're at. You see all these movements in here? I instructed her not to move. We have movement, movement, movement here. She's a controlling, dominant personality, but she's completely truthful, so I would suggest you go forward with it. Okay. Uh, the thermal imaging, uh, they're in the process right now. So all the uh, tapes are ready for submission? They're still formatting it. Lieutenant, you got a minute? Sure, come on in, guys. What do you have? I want to talk to you about the Cot residence. Okay, have a seat. Dr. Cott is probably one of the most credible witnesses that I've interviewed. However, we have a problem with the residence itself. Well, it's construction. There's several types of dust, sheetrock, wood, the whole thing. We have so much dust, and I'm thinking that if we went in there with digital photography, it's nothing. It's going to kill our photos. Exactly. Let's put her in a pending file, and as soon as the construction clears up, maybe we can mm -hmm. move forward. 
We're en route to conduct an investigation with a witness named Denver, who was a bartender at the Solanche pub the night Solis heard a big bang in, in the restroom. I'm still a little skeptical because it is possible that Denver could have pulled a prank on her. It's close enough that he could have banged on the wall, ran to the office, and sat down. Denver? Yes, sir. I'm Officer Mike Bedner. Nice to meet you. Okay, now this incident occurred, it was the one with Solis in the restroom. She mm -hmm. heard a noise. Now you were working that night, correct? Yeah, me and Lindsay were in the office. Solis went in the restroom and she came out and was like, were y'all messing with me? And we were like, no, we've been in the office the whole time. We didn't hear anything, but obviously she did. Nobody else was around her first night? She's an attractive girl, nobody was trying to yeah, give no, her a hard time? No, because mm -hmm. everybody was gone by this time. We were the only three upstairs, and that's why she thought we were messing with her, because she knew the story that Solange had had about it being haunted or whatnot, and she thought we were just joking, basically. Well, what is that story? Well, from what I hear, there was a lady who got raped behind there. It used to be an old brothel, okay. and she was killed. Is there anything that you actually have seen? There's actually been a few things. Me and my old boss, we had a leak, and instead of the water dripping down, it was dripping up. After that happened, I... Wait, wait. The water was dripping up? Instead of down. There was a puddle on the ground, there was a puddle up on the ceiling. Was this the end of a shift also? No, this was during the day. This was like midday, broad daylight. Uh, were you drinking at all? Nope. You ever do any drugs? Nope. No? And then one evening I was working and a bottle hit me in the back. That was a Tangeray bottle? Yes, sir. This is, that's the second time. I only heard one, this is the second time I yeah. heard it occur. What's your rationale behind that? What do you think? Like I said, I, it, to me it's easy to believe. It's haunted. Take a look at that. What is it? The cooler the shine, the hotter the look. That's why I love new Ice Shine from Pantene. It's new. The pro vitamin formula with Shine Boosters gives you twice the shine. It takes all the dull stuff and polishes it. And you are at Shine Potential, like Shine Peak. This is the shine right here. It's under here where you think it's hiding. It's just all over. New Pantene Ice Shine. Twice the shine, twice the fun. This team's got to start working together. I put you in its sweeper, but you need to pick it up. I need someone who's got it all. Speed, agility, power. I'm bringing in the new kid. Get the one cleaning tool that does it all. The Swiffer Sweeper Vac. With the Swiffer Dry Cloth to get the small stuff and a vacuum to suck up the big stuff. Better than a broom and dustpan. Way to go, kid. Swiffer gives cleaning a whole new meaning. Rodents are a threat. And in my 16 years as an exterminator, I've seen many homes like this one. So in my home, I'd use Decon Bates. It guarantees rodent elimination. That's why I trust Decon. America's number one brand for over 50 years. See what everyone's talking about. Experience every story every day on Inside Edition. For time and channel, visit InsideEdition.com. Hi, I'm Tyler Florence, and welcome to my kitchen. Food is my passion. I've shown you how to make it on TV, and I've written a few cookbooks. And now with Applebee's, I've created signature recipes just for you. Introducing Huge Flavor by Tyler Florence. Like my crispy brick chicken, I take fresh rosemary and olive oil, and I sear it right in. It is so crispy, it's crackling with flavor. And then I pair it up with a phenomenal salad. From my kitchen to your table. Tyler's Huge Flavor. Try all four, new from Applebee's. And that's eating good in the neighborhood. Living that same old story every day? Then write a new one. Now's your chance to enter Court TV's search for the next great crime writer contest to compete for a shot at landing a book deal from Regan. Go to courttv.com slash publish me and find out how you could be the next great crime writer. Submissions due by November 27th. And remember to watch Murder by the Book, premiering November 13th at 10, only on Court TV. to the cilantro pub. The officers have conducted a preliminary investigation and the results were surprisingly positive. And uh, we're gonna commit all of our resources that we have available to the investigation there. 
Okay, what we're going to do is we'll break up into two teams. Clark and Jackson, y'all go upstairs. Uh, you can take the digital photos. You'll work the EMF. Mike, take the thermal imaging camera, and George, take temperature readings. Uh, Shirley, you come with me, okay? Let's get going. Tonight I'll be working on the EMF meter, which is an electromagnetic field meter. If there are paranormal entities or forces at work, they're going to have to interact with us via energy. Tonight I'm on digital stills. We're looking for orbs, which are photographic anomalies that can be explained by scientific means. Garcia and I are using a thermal camera. The thermal camera allows us to see any unusual temperature fluctuations. Tonight I'm recording electronic voice phenomena. We use digital voice recording equipment that we place in rooms to see if we can pick up sounds, possibly even voices that shouldn't be there. This must be the alley. Well, this is supposed to be where the murder happened. Yeah, you're just going to have to shoot this whole area because EMF's not going to help us because of all the boxes. What we'll do is we'll come in there behind them and we'll set these recorders and see if we can catch an EVP. I'm reading this study 55 to 51 degrees. But, but there's no major spikes, right? No, there's no major sparks one way or the other. It's not going high or low. But I'm trying to get a reading in the general area where the bottle supposedly fell off. Right. We've been here probably about an hour and a half now. We're going to go upstairs and we're going to check on Bedner and Garcia. They're doing the thermal imaging and the digital thermometer readings. Uh, hopefully they've, they've gotten something. Take a look at that. What is that? What angle are you shooting at? Do you hear that? I do hear that. Hey, Harry, are you up on the third floor? Is your radio on? Mine's dead. What do y'all got? Better. This is. Hey, what do you think of this? Here's two oh, light there spots. Is. There's a hot spot there. Mm. Like... Is there a switch up there or a plug? No, there's nothing no. there. There's, there's nothing, nothing there, Mike. There. Maybe they're just watching us. There's definitely a field right here. And now it's dropping five, four, three. This is the portal. Portal to what? Yeah, good question. What do you think that is? Do you see it? Is it on the brick? Yeah, it's on the brick. This, this would all be the same temperature because it's all, it's all rock. Oh, it's changed shapes. Yeah, it's gone back up to like 59 degrees. Unusual temperature fluctuations indicate a certain area where an energy mass may be forming. And that would definitely be a good indicator of paranormal activity. It's gone. That's an empty room. Yeah. And there's nothing else in there. Disappears without a trace. We didn't come up with anything. Where is she? I see horses. The color blue. Blue. Why did she vanish? Two men. Two men. The past and, and the, the present. present. We got a call from a gentleman in Roxbury. I can I see him. Who knows the truth? Underneath the bed was a shoebox. I have to get out of here. How are you going to prove that someone is dead? The all new psychic detectives tonight at ten, only on Court TV. sponge it, erase it with Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Thick heavy makeup? Not for these cover girls. New True Blend Wet Foundation feels light as silk. It covers so naturally, what you see and feel is you. It's true. This luxurious light as silk formula blends right in. It matches 97% of skin tones. It's the new touch of luxury. So light, so true, and yet, so you. New True Blend Whip Foundation. I'm the guy you always see suffering with sinus pressure and congestion. Well, here's something out of the box. Sudafed PE Quick Dissolve Strips. Fast, maximum strength Sudafed PE in a strip. 
to relieve sinus pressure and congestion. They dissolve instantly with a cooling sensation of menthol that says relief is on its way. <sighs> Sudafed PE Quick Dissolve Strips. And for soothing non-medicated comfort at night, there's Sudacare Vapor Plugs. Have a good night. I really think we should pull over. They want us to pull over. Pulling over. RL SUVs. As much fun as our bikes. You left this at the diner. There's a new number in it. Let's go. Introducing the all new midsize Suzuki XL7. It's going to be a great ride. There's an accident in this country every five seconds. Allstate thinks that's too often. So they have rewards to encourage you to drive safely. Now, for each year you go without having one of these, you'll get $100 off your deductible. It's called Deductible Rewards. It's time to make the world a better place to drive. It's Allstate stand. Are you in good hands? I'm on my way to our photo expert, Isabel McCrimmon. She's had some time to look at the photos, so we're going to see what she comes up with. Isabel, so how's it going? Hey, good. In this photo here by the rock, there is a little bit of an orb. It's very faint. And I don't know if that's anything other than dust. We're looking for orb anomalies, but it's important to distinguish between dust particles and those that are paranormal in nature. What could be interesting is that that's the only piece of dust, and with dust, there should be more. Okay. So that I find that intriguing. Hey, Mark. Hey. How you doing? This little spot here is a piece of noise. Let's turn on the device which removes the noise from that. That's an empty room? Yeah. And there's nothing else in there? Well, you notice behind that is a tick, 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 tick. You can hear the metro train go by the front of the door. Yeah. <laughs> the complainant is saying that she hears maybe voices footsteps, things of that nature. This is a very live room. A wood building like this has a lot of expansion and contraction. Okay. And wood, I'm, who doesn't know, wood snaps and crackles and pops and all this right. stuff. Can you take a definite stance and say, what we're hearing is not paranormal? I've nothing on it that I hear is paranormal. It sounds a little strange in places, but it's all explainable as normal activity. <laughs> hey, how's it going? I had a look at your uh, footage that you brought me, and there were two areas that I found very intriguing. The first one was in the ruby room. You've got some signatures here and here. There's not really a source for any heat to rise there. Were you the only guys in the room? The uh, George was also with me at that particular yeah. time. We conducted a perimeter search of the entire room, and this was the only unidentifiable hot spots that we were able to find. Very interesting. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Now, later on in the tape here, I found another spot. This little segment right here is what is really interesting. Yeah, hey, that's the wall. Like I was talking before, there's nothing to create a signature here. And watch this. The actual shape of it and the size of it changed. Celise was telling me they feel that's a portal. Spirits come in and spirits come out. Oh, it's very interesting. I can't explain what the source of that is. The technical term for a situation like this is a poltergeist. Next on Trace Evidence, a quiet neighborhood explodes with gunfire, but when the smoke clears, so does the evidence. The investigation was going nowhere. Can Dr. Lee reconstruct a crime scene out of thin air? Trace Evidence, next on Court TV. Brace yourselves for the most criminal, most arresting, most out-of-control video on television. It's most shocking. The all-new series from Court TV premieres tonight at 8, only on Court TV. I'm ready to fight my cancer. 
I'm ready to begin chemotherapy. I really am ready because I'm going to take Nolasta right from the start to help protect me from infection. Chemotherapy can reduce your white blood cell count and increase your risk of infection, which could put your treatment on hold. But Nulasta is a white blood cell booster that can help restore your white blood cell count to reduce your risk of infection. And with a sufficient white blood cell count, your doctor may have a better chance of giving you your chemo on schedule, which doctors agree is the first step to success. Nulasta is for most cancer patients receiving strong chemotherapy. In rare cases, splenic rupture or serious allergic reactions have been reported. Report abdominal or shoulder pain or any allergic reaction to your doctor immediately. The most common side effect of this injection is mild to moderate bone pain. I'm ready to start. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready. Thanks to Nulasta. Ask your doctor about Nulasta and how you can be ready for chemotherapy. Attention, diabetic patients with Medicare. I have diabetes. And testing my blood sugar on my fingers every day is so painful. I wish there were a better way. Now, there is. With this meter, you can test on your arm with less pain. Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Minch, and I've been taking care of diabetic patients for over 30 years. With this new meter, you don't have to prick your fingers anymore. You can test on your arm. It hurts less. Some patients say it doesn't hurt at all. And I'll send you this meter for free when you call and join Diabetes Care Club. I called and got my meter. Now my fingers don't hurt anymore. The club will send your diabetes supplies right to your home, and we will build Medicare. Membership is free, and so is shipping. So call us now. Call now to get your meter and test with less pain. Call Diabetes Care Club at 1-800-332-7930. Call now. I'm glad I did. Please. Hi. I'm here with the results. Oh, great. Excellent. Okay, basically, let me go over a few of the areas that we hit. One was the audio. That was a recording of both areas of the, of the bar. Basically, all the noise, based on what the experts said, was that it was all natural noises. Mm -hmm. Even your case in the bathroom could be justified through natural causes. There's high ceilings here, air conditioned vents structure itself. But the most interesting or intriguing thing was what we found with the thermal camera over at the wall and also up in the ruby room. Let me let you take a look at that. Okay. Okay, this is the, the south corner of the ruby room. It's at the ceiling. This okay. is the wall where there's nothing, there's no electrical, there's no lights. So something in the environment is producing some form of heat. The expert just, he analyzed it. He's not sure what it is. It's some form of energy mass. It's just hanging out, you know. Mm. Okay, number two, this is the wall, which is right down there. Okay. And that's where you told me the story about the portal. As you can see the difference between the other one and this one. The other one was light, which is heat. This is dark, which is coldness. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about that. How um, big this, is this spot? I mean, is it a large amount of it? I or would is say it about a foot, foot in diameter. Again, it's extremely interesting. We're not sure exactly what it is, and either were the experts. So based on these two pictures in two completely different areas, based on the statements from everybody, we do think there's some activity going on in this club. The technical term for a situation like this is a poltergeist. Poltergeist, what they do is just kind of irritate people. They throw things around, throw things at people, call some noises. They just like to be a pest? That's probably the best way to put it. I think it's a safe environment to work in. I don't think there's any harm, any danger. But if you have any questions down the road, something else happens, give us a call. Okay. You know, I'm really glad they took the time to like investigate everything. And we've also taken the Tangeray bottle down so it doesn't get thrown at anybody anymore. It's so scary, but it seems to me it's more of a prank type thing than anything malicious. So that's that's good to hear. I just delivered the results of this, at least, about the investigation. And it's very difficult to tell somebody that their place of business is haunted. I wish we could do more for her. I wish we could take it away. All we can do now is continue this work and search for answers.